Right, welcome back. We don't need an intro. We don't need an intro at all. Daniel Levy and Tottenham have done it again. Listen, big up to everyone. First of all, smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Just finished the stream. I don't, I honestly, I'm running out of words to describe how this football club operates. And I'm not going to lie, this probably is going to be a bit of a rant. If you enjoy that sort of thing, drop a comment and let me know what you guys think of this news. Now, think back to January, right? Our number one transfer target was Pedro Porro, who we got as a loan fee for 5 million euros. And then we then agreed to sign for 45 million quid. Fair enough. It took us 31 days to get the Pedro Porro deal over the line, even though he was our number one transfer. Now, once again, once again, we've done this. David Raya, our number one transfer target for a goalkeeper. Our number one transfer target. Let that sink in. Our number one transfer target. And that we've just agreed in principle to sign a goalkeeper that doesn't even fit the system. The system. This does not make any sense whatsoever. It doesn't. It does not make any sense. I'll bring up the tweet. Damasio, probably up there with Fabrizio Romano and David Ornstein in terms of how reliable the reporter is. Verbal agreement in principle between Embley, FC and Tottenham for Vicario. The transfer of 20 million euros, which is about 17 and a half million pounds. So once again, we're haggling over a few million pounds for David Raya, who is homegrown, who's 27 years of age, who can play the sweeper keeper role who's got fantastic distribution and actually fits the system and makes sense. But yet again, we are doing the complete opposite. Like we did when Jose wanted Ruben Diaz and you gave him Joe Rodham. Jose wanted Bruno Fernandes and you gave him Giovanni De Celso. Conte wanted Kim Min Jae and we brought Long Lane. Conte wanted Bastoni and we brought Long Lane. We wanted Mane years ago and we got Unkadu. Why is everything that we do from Wish.com, everything we, you walk down large and in charge down the high street, right? You walk down with your friends, your missus, your boyfriend, your partner, whoever you walk in with, right? Someone goes and shops in Harrods, in Selfridges, right? We go and shop in Powerland and the 99p store, but then charge our fans. Harrods and Selfridges prices. Now, people, before anyone said this is an overreaction, this is years on years on years on years of crap. Newcastle have just agreed a fee of 70 million euros to sign Tonali. Newcastle are also prepared to go and sign James Madison. Arsenal are looking at... Um, Kai Havertz for 65 million quid. You can say you, you can say whatever you want about the transfer. It's a, it's the sign of intent, right? It's intent. They also want Timber from Ajax, who's a good player who can play centre mid, right back, centre back. They also want 100 million quid on the table for Declan Rice. Chelsea have got rid of their deadwood like that. Mendy, Kante, you know, Kovacic is gone as well. Not that he's deadwood. Ziyech, you know, Lukaku going back to Inter. Kula Bali going 500 grand off the wage bill like that. We can't give up, give away our Deadwood for free because no one wants them because they're that bad. It's every single season, time after time after time after time again. Every single season. We always buy the second best. We never go and get our number one transfer target. And when we do, it takes us 31 days to get a right back 
that plays in Portugal. He doesn't even play in the top five leagues. He doesn't even play for a big football club. Ask yourself one question. Or one question only. Have Tottenham ever gone and bought a player that has been a difficult transfer from a bigger football club than Tottenham? You might say Kulisevsky, you might say Benton Core. They weren't in Juventus' plans. I'm talking about going and signing a player who is in their 11, who is playing week in, week out, and was on the same trajectory as Tottenham Hotspur. Name one player. Before anyone says about Romero, he wasn't in Atalanta. He wasn't in Juventus' plans while they sold him to Atalanta. Atalanta is not a bigger football club than Tottenham Hotspur. Raphael van der Vaart years ago was at Hamburg, not a bigger football club than Tottenham. Dembele came from Fulham. Toby Aldevaro was not in Atletico Madrid's plans. Jan Vertonghen was at Ajax. Don't complain in a competitive league. Who else have we got? Cumin Son was at Bayer Leverkusen. Harry Kane from the academy. Deli Ali from MK Dons. Bissouma from Brighton. Richarlison from Everton. Lloris from Lyon. I don't have a problem with doing that, but you automatically paint yourself with a brush that you're looking for second-class goods. You can assemble a fantastic team from these sort of football clubs. But you need to use your brain. And right now, we're not doing that. We're signing a goalkeeper that isn't a sweeper keeper. This goalkeeper comes out of his box once every two or three games. I want a goalkeeper that's pinging it like Lord of the Pings. Toby all of our old settings, spraying it around like Banksy. Bang, bang, bang to the right wing, to the left wing. Harry Kane, take it on your chest and turn. This goalkeeper's all distribution is awful. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. Barman Ashfali and David Raya remain on the list. Well, how can they remain on the list if we've just agreed to buy this keeper? Is this a smoke screen? I don't know. But if we do not sign David Raya, I am going to be absolutely... Ah... Oh. I'm going to... Tottenham have approached Emberley today for Jamel, Jamelo, or however you pronounce it, Vicar, Vicario. As a new goalkeeper, talks taking place of around 20 million quid fee. So that's about 17 million quid, whereas David Ray is 40 million. So once again, we buy the second best option. Verbal agreeing principle in Tottenham between Emberley and... And Tottenham for Vicario transfer on £20 million deal. Emberley are waiting for the written official offer to land in the next few hours. Well done, Daniel Levy. Well done for buying once again. And all you'll see, Ryan, all you will see, right? All you will see in a matter of hours is people putting complations out of this guy saying how much of a good shot stopper is i don't care a good shot a good shot stopper is his job roy key settings it's your job it's your job can you do the other things well can you distribute the ball well can you command your box can you how are you at coming and catching crosses are you a good penalty saver right a shot stopper is the basic fundamentals of being a goalkeeper it's everything else that matters. The top goalkeepers in world football have elite concentration skills. They might not do anything for 90 minutes, but when they've got to make a save, you best believe they're making it. Look at Edison. For most of the time against Inter Milan, he didn't have to do much. And then in five minutes, he just makes two worldy saves. Being a shot stopper is the basic fundamentals of a footballer, of a goalkeeper. This isn't the flipping... Oh, man, it's... Romano saying we've been linked with Xavi Simmons. <laughs> you think Tottenham are going to sign Xavi Simmons when PSG have got a buyback clause for 6 million euros, which is about 4.8 million pound. And you think... <sighs> but I'm sorry to rant, people. I really am. Look, make sure you drop a like on the video, but I'm just livid. Once, once again, we're doing this. Once again. Look, people, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm out of here.